Qualcomm has completed the acquisition of the remaining interest in RF360 Holdings Singapore, a joint venture it established with TDK Corporation in 2017 to produce RF front-end filters. Following the acquisition, Qualcomm says it is now able to provide customers with a complete end-to-end -end solution from modem to antenna. Telecom TV spoke to Cristiano Amon, president of Qualcomm, and asked him why this acquisition is important to the company. We're celebrating the last milestone on this journey of Qualcomm to build you know, the world's leading RF on end team. Uh, we, we basically have the, uh, a joint venture with uh, TDK, and uh, today we're celebrating that we took you know, full ownership of the RF360 holdings, and now uh, every single employee that's working on uh, Qualcomm RF front end, not only R&D, but also production, uh, is part of Qualcomm. And we're very excited to complete that. It's, a, it's, a, it's been a long journey, but now we have uh, everything, everyone within the Qualcomm family for our RF front end business. The announcement was made at Qualcomm's European Research and Production Facility in Munich, Germany, which the company sees as important to its leadership in the rollout of 5G. It's, uh, it's very important. The reason this is uh, it's important is we're the only company that now has every single piece of technology from the digital, the modem, all the way to the antenna. And because of our system expertise, as we have all of those different now components in-house, in we can fundamentally re-engineer how we think about the RF front end, bringing a lot of innovation. What it really means to consumers will be more battery life and significantly better coverage on their smartphones. We also asked Cristiano Amon, now that Qualcomm has built an end-to-end -end component portfolio, how does this enhance the company's 5G proposition? We have a very mature market right now in the smartphone, and uh, we, we're, we know we're very fortunate to have a good position in the market with our Snapdragon you know, uh, platform. What this would allow on the business side for a company, allow us to grow faster than the market as we now get new content in those devices by going beyond the Snapdragon into all of the RF front end components. And that allow us, uh, when we think about the 5G era, we have now two vectors of growth. We hope to gain share with our leading position in 5G with Snapdragon, but also we grow dollar content uh, into those uh, smartphones, which is a business we didn't have before. And I expect the RFNN to be one of the fastest growing business in Qualcomm. Now, what it means to our customers, uh, you have a lot of complexity with 5G. You had a lot of new bands. You have to bring immediately scale because the, the scale of mobile is massive. We all wanna, you have our phones and roam with all different technologies. So we abstract that by delivering a complete integrated, fully tested solution with all those different frequency bands. We bring new technologies such as millimeter wave and we do this improving performance at the system level, delivering probably equal or better coverage in, uh, in a battery life with 5G versus the competing solutions in the market. Qualcomm is also very strong on Wi-Fi technology. So will the emerging Wi-Fi 6 specification work alongside 5G or will it compete? Wi-Fi is here to stay, like uh, cellular, and I think we, we already saw how exactly this works. Every one of our phones right now, we use it between cellular and Wi-Fi, and we're always between those two systems, and I expect that to continue in 5G. Um, what we're actually doing in Qualcomm, the same time that we're bringing cellular to the latest technology, which is 5G, we're accelerating the transition of Wi-Fi to Wi-Fi 6. Wi-Fi 6 uh, has a lot of uh, improvements in range, in mobility on Wi-Fi, and I think will deliver a much better ex experience. So the way you should think about it is, those two technologies are gonna be uh, part of every single phone, and, uh, and more and more will continue to create uh, improvements of performance, especially intelligence as you go in in and out of Wi-Fi and cellular systems to optimize performance. There's a lot of machine learning opportunities. That's what we are going to continue to do with both our cellular and Wi-Fi roadmap, both working together. Within the carrier community right now, without any exception, all of the carriers 
they see 5G as the biggest opportunity as well as one of the biggest challenges. And I don't think there's any carrier that we met that does not see their future tied to 5G and they're trying to get to 5G as fast as possible. Uh, it creates a huge opportunity for them to restore value uh, to the telecom, value in the connectivity, uh, you know, go after taking a bigger percentage of the value enabled by connectivity and digital transformation. At the same time, they have challenges how to tune their business models, their systems, their, uh, uh, their sales force uh, to engage with all of those new opportunities in different verticals and in different industries that traditionally has not been a direct customer of the carriers. And I think they're all been very busy uh, trying to develop those capabilities and it is new territory to all of them. After almost 25 years with Qualcomm, Cristiano has witnessed the progression of cellular from 2G GSM all the way to 5G. Each generation, of course, had its own challenges. So which was his favorite? When I was a very young engineer joining Qualcomm, I was very impressed uh, by the 2G CDMA technology. It was uh, such the use of spread spectrum, uh, uh, especially in the capacity enhancement over analog, as you know, just coming out of you know engineering school, I was very impressed. I was so fortunate and I, that I could work in uh, in that company, and uh, but the one that I'm most excited about it is 5G, and uh, and and the reason is because it's the first time that uh, this is a technology that is not unique to telecom or the telecom sector. It's going to be the first time that the telecom wireless, I'll say wireless industry, is providing a general purpose technology that will benefit the whole society. And it's incredible to be able to be part of this and see the effects that this technology will have in, in, the, in the world and how it will transform a number of industries.